You know, I've run 135 miles nonstop across Death Valley. I've run a marathon to the South Pole. I've run 50 marathons in all of the 50 US states in 50 consecutive days. Well, I'm what they call an ultra marathoner, so I run long distances. Yeah. Your longest distance nonstop is 350 miles. <laughs> that's like that's like 550 Ks. So there's eating and sleeping and all the things that your body still needs to do. How does that work if you're running nonstop? Well, you eat as you run, just like we're doing now, you eat. Uh, as far as sleeping goes, that was the most vexing part is you don't sleep, you just keep running. And on Seriously? That, yeah. I've heard a rumor that you race horses. Oh, well, I, I ran a race called the Vermont Trail 100 Mile Endurance Run, and it's a concurrent horse race as well. And yeah. And who I, wins? I, I beat the horse. No. Yeah. To find out how Dean's able to seemingly run forever, I've enlisted the help of the sports science department at the University of Nevada. Dean will run for a total of 30 minutes and the intensity of the workout will be constantly increased to push him out of his comfort zone and take him right to the max. The results show that Dean's ability to take on oxygen, known as aerobic capacity, is so highly developed that his O2 levels never drop low enough that his body has to resort to anaerobic respiration. Time for the next test. This test will tell us the exact composition of Dean's body. 9.8% uh, of your weight is body fat. What's a normal bloke my age? Uh, well, well over 20%. I mean, in the US, we're terrible in terms of percent body fat. <laughs> but uh, as an athlete, I mean, if you're under 10%, that, that is really a, a sign of, a, of an endurance athlete. You're like the perfect ultra marathon runner. <laughs> <laughs> Dean tells me that in all his years of endurance running, He's never been injured. One of the things that we typically see in the running pattern is this impact peak that, that um, we see early on in stance. That impact peak is often what we think of as at least a mechanism of injury. In his case, he does not have much of an impact peak. So in kind of layman's terms, that just means like it's a really smooth entry and a really smooth takeoff. So there's not a, it's not coming down with so much force. Would, would that be something that would indicate why he's been injury free? Yep. By being more smooth or having a smooth gait, yes. there's less of an impact. I didn't even know I was doing that. I'm blown away by these results, but I'm hoping that Dean saved the best till last. We're heading to a specialist hot room for the final test, and it's the toughest yet. So the challenge is gonna be, we're maxing out on the temperature in this room, which is 110. Uh, humidity? 40%. 40% humidity. Yeah. Basically, I want to, I know that you can do extreme environments, so I'm trying to create the most extreme environment possible. Oh my god, look at me. I'm just doing the job. Right, three, two, one, go. What's it like, Dean? Treadmill's a little awkward, but. Are you good? Not a bead of sweat. He's doing good. He's looking fine. Oh. And he seems to be just hanging out with the same core temperature. So he's right around 99.2. So he point. went up just a touch, just, just a, a degree, yeah. less yeah. than a degree, and that's it? So being able to sustain a steady state at that high rate is actually really, really impressive. Right, one last core temp. 100.8. So barely gone up at all. Well within normal range. Right, and you're nearly there. Amazingly, having run for 90 minutes, Dean's core is only slightly above normal resting temperature. Five, four, three. I don't even know why I'm ca <laughs> counting down. You win. Like, you win. <laughs> I thought we were going to break you, and no. It was a galleon effort, thank you. Yeah. I'm done. I'm out of here. <laughs> you win. <laughs> Before I met Dean, I already knew he was special because he holds some of the most fantastic records. But through scientific testing, I've also learned that he's actually physically unique. Thanks to a remarkable genetic makeup, he's become one of the world's greatest endurance runners, able to run distances that defy human biology. He is more than incredible, and he is extraordinary.